This is the No BS Coaching Advice Podcast. I'm your host, Jeff Altman, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. You know, I like to spend some time pretty regularly talking about life, the universe, and everything. And this week, there's been some great quotes out of sports because we've got the Hall of Fame for baseball and soon to be the Hall of Fame for football coming up. And I want to start off today's show talking with you about success because that's really what the Hall of Fame is about, is is reaching the pinnacle of your career and looking at legacy. You may recall from the last show I did, that was a show that one of the topics was legacy. And here, you know, I'll start off with a speech that was given by Jim Tomei of the Cleveland Indians as he was inducted into the Hall of Fame. And he said, and if I break into tears, I apologize, but some of the stuff I've been reading and listening to is so touching to me. He said, I still can't believe this has happened to me. A 13th round draft pick out of central Illinois. To every kid that is dreaming of standing here one day, take it one moment at a time. Don't sail too high or sink too low. Learn to be good at handling failure. Be the first one to the ballpark. Be the last one to leave. Work hard. Don't complain. Be a great teammate. Ask other people about themselves. You never know what you might learn. And above all, treat people with respect. You know, we live in a culture that doesn't provide doesn't really support these notions anymore. These were basic American principles for the longest time. And I'll just simply say that listening to Tome talk about this foundation is so touching to me. It's another thing um, that he spoke about earlier in the speech, and it kind of linked to something that Keith Hernandez said uh, in his book. Each of them spoke about coach who spotted them early on. Uh, In Tomei's case, uh, it was Charlie Manuel, uh, who eventually became a manager in baseball. And I think his manager at one point when he was with the Indians. And I don't remember who it was in Hernandez's case, but it was at a time when Hernandez was struggling in the minor leagues. And here he was a top draft pick, and he was stinking up the joint. And he had someone who basically came to him and said, I believe in you and I want to help you achieve what I see you're able to achieve. In Manuel's case, you know, he went to Tome basically talking with him about what he was seeing in him. You know, I'll just simply say having a mentor, having someone notice you. And, and encourage you early on in your career, in your life. Do it for your kids, man. Do it for other people. Give them the knock on the, the knock on the door, the tap on the shoulder. Male or female, you can basically say, I see you. I think there's a lot of upside that you have, and I'd love to help you. It goes a long way toward turning corners for folks and helping them achieve even more. I was listening to a podcast today. Uh, Adam Schefter was interviewing Randy Moss. Moss was a an all-pro wide receiver initially for the Vikings, eventually went to the, to the Raiders, to New England, and a couple of other teams at the end of his career. And You know, when I was younger, I don't know why, but Randy Moss was always portrayed as being this incredibly talented guy, but troubled. Troubled was one of those terms that was used to describe someone who was going to be a problem. You know, a troubled player, ooh, and selfish, always looking out for himself. Now, I listened to this interview with him today. And let me give you a perspective. He grew up as a, an African-American man in West Virginia. 
The story I tell myself about what that was like was that he was incredibly poor. And he spent some time talking about his mom as a single mom raising three kids, working three jobs to try and help pay the bills for the family, not always knowing when the next meal was coming. And once you know that, do you understand what the achievement is like to have the good fortune to play in the National Football League? and why getting a good contract would become so important to him and not just settle for what was being given to him. Because at that time, it was pretty common that players settled for what was thrown at them and why he pushed to get as much as he could. Because as he says, you know, I'm retired now. I am so happy that I can afford to have my kids grow up and have the choices available to them that they have. And as often as I try and explain to them what it was like, they don't have a clue. Isn't that what we all aspire to? I know my folks did. And for those of you who are struggling in some way, shape, or form, it is good to know that there's hope at the end of the tunnel. No guarantees. Obviously, you need talent. Obviously, you need opportunities. But there's a possibility that you can win. And don't hold yourself back. Try hard because it worked for Randy. It's worked for others. It may work for you. When I coach people, one of the common laments that people have is that they don't have time. I know I've used this as an excuse I'm overwhelmed. I don't have the time. I'm stressed out. Oh, horrible, horrible. There's a funny uh, quote. I'm not going to do the exact quote, but Gary Vaynerchuk uh, has done this very funny story about how people would complain to him about how they don't have time, but be able to tell them tell him every single plot twist for seasons on end of one TV show after another. You get the message here. How much time are you wasting? Seriously, how much time are you wasting doing things that are inconsequential? I'll just simply say, if you eliminate TV, oh no, I can't do that. If you eliminate TV and start putting in time into the things that you say you want to do, let's get real here. Why is TV more important than your dreams? Think back to Tomei, Randy Moss, people that you know in your life who've made the sacrifices in order to get what they've wanted. Why can't you? Why shouldn't you be doing that? Seriously, why shouldn't you be doing that? Why can't you protect yourself in your future? Why can't you be doing the work that you want? Why? All because you want to watch TV. Does that make a lot of sense? So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, I hope you reach out to me for coaching. I also want to suggest that you think about visiting my website, nobscoachingadvice.com. I've got more there that you can watch, listen to, read that you'll probably enjoy. I hope it'll spark your interest and curiosity. As for coaching, reach out to me through LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. Mention that you listen to the show because I just like knowing that I'm helping folks. And I'll be back soon with more. In the meantime, I hope you have a great day. Take care. Take care.